To set up the camera is quite easy. The first step we need to insert a TF card to the camera if we want the camera to record a video on the memory card. Here is a memory card, so insert it to the camera and now place it on the table. And next we gonna connect the camera to the power supply. We just need to wait around 30 seconds to allow it boot up. Now the camera starts making DD sound. This means the camera is ready for setup. And uh, now I'm run the smartphone and of course find the UC app. Uh, to run it, uh, if you are the new user uh, for the UC camp for the UC camera, you should register account and then login account and click add. Here we choose add new device and then we uh, select some mod link and here it shows me my home Wi-Fi SSID so. The next, we should enter the Wi-Fi password. And then we click next. And here a beep for connection. Tap it and tap next. Now my smartphone is trying to set up the camera's Wi-Fi. So the camera has successfully set up the Wi-Fi and uh, here we input the default password of the device 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and OK Next Now I can give it a name So maybe I say Cube Camera And uh, here is the device Why? So it shows me the information contain And this is the sound because it causes noise Now I adjust the uh, angle So, okay well, It shows the inside So now just the real angle of the camera so that it can see the inside of my home. So here's the full view. I can do it again. So rotate the camera. So here is the uh, view. You can zoom in to show more details. Right. And of course, here go to the zone. We also can tweak the settings of the camera. So here go to settings. So basically it shows me 
all the settings of the camera. Here we can remotely update the firmware. So up to the firmware. So it shows me new firmware version found. Please upgrade. Uh, so we can tap next time so that uh, so that I can continue this demonstration and we could picture a sound. Here we are able to reverse the image and I reverse it. So, so. Now image is reversed. So, disable the sound and here choose HD resolution. settings again and uh, here alarm settings here so in addition to supporting video based motion detection here the camera also can support a human infrared detection so it can greatly uh, improve the video surveillance efficiency because the camera only picks up the movement caused by human so it will be a lot a trigger force alarm so it's a great feature for this camera additionally we are able to uh, set up a SM, SMTP account for receiving alarm, alarm emails so I can receive alarm prompt and cross a hill human passive promotion detection and the next I'm going to test it right and here is defense. We we activate the passive motion detection, and the present we exist with this supply, right? Exists. Now I'm trying to trigger it. Now alarm is triggered. I will receive the push notification. The sound so okay. Disable it, right? So. Over here, it disables the sound. Right. So it's a great camera. I recommend I recommend it, this camera if you want a, a solid and a good quality security camera. That's it. Thank you.